Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to look at some server architectures within a data center. So we're gonna look at a server or a couple of servers that are racked in a data center. Uh, what are the different components of that server? You know, different types of rack, blade servers, those sort of things, but really just overview of a rack server and what it looks like and how it functions. So we've got some rack mounted servers. So these servers actually go and rack mount in the actual length of the uh, cabinet. We've got Dell ones, we've got HP. Uh, there's other manufacturers available. Um, you know, if we just take off the panel on the front of the server, so a lot of servers will contain like a panel just to protect. Uh, you've got, you know, the brand, this particular is a 720, it's just a bit of an older Dell server. And then you've got your slots for your hard drive. So literally you've got a hard drive here that you can just pull out and then just slide in a brand new hard drive when you have a hard drive that is faulty um, or if you actually want to extend the, uh, the hard drives that are in here. So many rack mounted servers will have an LCD display on the front giving you some stats about the server, the health of the server, some other information that you can easily navigate through some sort of a button interface. You can actually sometimes adjust uh, some of the settings that are displayed on the, on the LCD directly from here, uh, such as the IP address, etc. You'll gen have maybe some sort of a tag that you can pull out that has information about the serial number. You've got a, a simple DVD drive, some USB ports, in this case, I've got a little uh, maintenance thing here if, I want, if you've got maintenance like from Dell. And most servers also have a, a port here so you can plug in a uh, monitor directly into the server to actually see what the server is seeing. You know, whether it's the console uh, or the BIOS or a Windows server, if it's got Windows installed. The server cover generally will have some sort of a lock interface where you can put in a key and lock it. If you do have uh, you know, specific security requirements in your organization, you can lock it so that people who don't have access can't even actually access the box to log into the console or do anything that needs to be done. So these are Dell EMC servers, new rack mounted servers. So you've got the R640s, all right, you've got your standard USB port on the side. You've also got a uh, sort of like a console cable for maintenance if you do happen to have uh, Dell EMC have to come out and service the unit. You've got some LED indicators on the left there and then your lock um, section where you can put in a one of those lock keys to lock the front panel. If you do have security requirements around people accessing uh, the servers in your comms cabinet or in your data center. So with the cover taken off, we've got a couple of hard drives. These are SAS drives easily removable by pushing on that button, slide the drive out. And we've got some additional slots here where I can literally just slide those plastic slots out and add additional hard drives. Got a little indicator here that slides out that gives me the serial number and details of my server. If I do want to look that up for warranty reasons or if I have to log a ticket with Dell EMC. And then you've got your monitor port where you can plug in a monitor straight into there, an analog monitor to actually see what's on the screen of that server, whether it's a console port, uh, a console screen, the BIOS, um, or, some sort of, or some sort of operating system. So this is the back of one of the cabinets, right? One of the comms cabinets. Now you'll see that these are essentially the back of the units. This is the back of a server with all of the relevant cabling plugging into it and going into their relevant positions, whether it's the switches, routers, storage units into other servers, etc. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, just on the button there for more videos.